hello everybody today we are going to discuss about genetics in java genetics was introduced in java 5 onwards before java 5 there is no genetics concept okay we are going to discuss this concept with an example it will be easy to understand okay I am going to open my Eclipse and uh, I am going to write a class new class and the class name is non generic class okay um, including the main method as well here is the class here we are using array list to explain the generics concept as we know that <coughs> collections will hold only objects yes now I am creating an array list array list uh, some list is equal to new array list okay this is fair just import the class <coughs> sorry for the typo error here is our list I am trying to add some values to this list first of all I am going to add string type remember collections holds only objects and I am adding one more value now we add one integer type of some 42 okay now the we have added two values now we will try to retrieve those values okay first one is in string format we added in string format so we need to get it in the same manner string name is equal to list dot whether is get get zero okay here we seeing some error this is nothing but casting error see what the error here is it is saying cannot convert object to string here we are getting object we are not we are going to assign this value trying to assign this value into a string so here we need to cast it okay now everything is clear now we converted this object into string type now we can assign this value here and the second value is integer type okay integer we are getting this value as it is you can take int as well because here auto boxing will happen automatically in java int number is equal to list dot get of one c once again we are getting the casting error object to int we need to cast it to integer remember we need to cast it to integer not int int is a primitive type and integer is a class wrapper class so we are converting here what happens is ideally it should be like this once we get 
the integer value number then we can convert them into integer how to convert integer we know we need to parse the two int int parse it to int now we'll keep it is as it is okay now we will display what how it is displaying this out my name is plus name plus my number number okay we'll run and see how it is <coughs> okay my name is Saidi and my number is 42 okay this is without generics now we will write the same class with generics and we'll see the differences for this I'm going to write one more class the class name is with generic okay adding the main method and click finish here it is we'll write the same same code with the generics array list here syntax of generics is like this we need to specify in the brackets like this okay we'll see once after writing the program now here uh, the generics is strictly to the type parameter here we can write one if you want to use this list as a string then it allows only string values okay list will i will explain you everything once we write this program new array list it is also same now this array list holds only string type objects it doesn't hold any integer double character boolean anything it holds only string type objects here we'll add list dot add we are adding the same name list dot add we'll try to add the same one which we added previously integer of 42 see see the error the method add string in the type array list of string is not applicable for the arguments integer clear we need to add only integers not the string here if we add like this it's fine if you want to add an integer then create the list with integer type now we are trying to get those values from the list list name is equal to 
list dot get zero will take only one value and will print and see what it is my name is plus name now we'll run this okay here we get the value now we'll see the difference what is generic and non-generic okay the we'll see the usage first the first usage is use of generics first one is stronger type checks at compile time okay like here we try to add one integer type I will show you again list dot add will add simply two we'll try to add simply two see argument int here it is saying is not applicable for the argument int strictly it is checking the type at compile time only okay it, it is easy to find the errors at compile time okay that is the first usage and the second usage is the this is the main usage eliminating the sorry eliminate of casting this is the another usage if you see in generics non-generic class casting is required here if you see we casted it with string okay if you see in the generics we are not doing any casting we are directly getting the value from the list this is the another advantage and uh, mm, I hope uh, this is enough for the day uh, please watch the further videos to get some more knowledge on generics